Hi, I'm Seamless. This is the 52nd 75k tutorial. This one was requested by a person named... Oh, this guy. Again. I think this person has had, like, fully three requests in the entire 50k and a whole bunch more in the previous ones, but this is Omir44. And uh, it's an emperor sound. <laughs> and it sounds like this. You know, that kind of... That thing. And this is what I got. Not super wonderful. And also, honestly, I think what I'm missing about this is just getting the... Just like the post EQ, right? That's a little better, but like... Eh, I just heard that last second. Anyway, it's a square. It begins its life as a square. It is literally just a square wave and some unison. Now the unison actually has a pretty big impact. It has the sounds. It's nine voices, uh, not like a lot of pitch, but enough pitch and a bunch of phase. But the, the very small changes there actually impact the sound, how, how all that works. We'll get there in a second though. Uh, this this was what's happening in the first EQ. Now you can see actually that it changes in height and position. That's two different automations going on there. That's this guy, which is the frequency is chosen. And this is how loud that frequency is. This first one is just a low pass filter. It's also there. What's going on and then it gets distorted and then also distortion is is automating from low to high so it doesn't actually stay on all the way the whole time and then there's this tiny um impulse that i'm stretching to be even smaller and it um and so it's like just a, a really just dense kind of reverb sound and i felt like doing that with the convolver instead of like valhalla or something uh and then that eq i just did and then the limiter to kind of bring it all <laughs> Kind of bring it in because it gets got a bit loud there. Um, but yeah, let's talk about the the unison. So, just watch what happens when I mess around with the pitch and the phase settings. delicate about that and uh also like the voice count will dramatically change what it sounds like i'm partial to odd numbered ones and that's just because if you look at sort of the, the diagram of what it shows there the even numbered ones means that there's not going to be one voice in the center which matters a little bit for the stereo field although the panning is almost all the way off and in fact when it is off we still kind of have a lot of it going on because it's mostly being generated from the convolver giving us the impulse response for the uh, reverb. And that's really all there is to this. It's the sound, uh, I mean, it's all as to what I did, but the sound obviously is a little denser, I think, in, in, in the one going on in the Emperor track, but it's also sort of hard to tell what's happening um, in that particular moment in the song. It's just a lot going on. And I, it's it's the same, it's the thing, the things I did are what made that, you know, it's a square, it was distorted and it was modulated and moved around that kind of thing. And that's more or less that. And like that, that increase in level on the filter thing there was from here. Uh, this is where I came up with that. You can see, you can see the harmonics so they could get louder right a second and then they go back down. That's the pitch motion of the whole thing too. You can see the pitch motion coming happen there. Uh, it's a cool sound though. Just didn't super nail it. Anyway, if you'd like to make a request for yourself, please do so. The Reddit thread link in the description of this video. If you have any questions about this, please let me know. This particular FLP will be available to download in the description also in this video. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And as usual, have a nice day. That was a really short one.